it's 2002, you've just come over from China to the United States to play for the Houston Rockets, and you end up missing the first two weeks of training camp because of your obligations to the Chinese national team. How much of an initial disadvantage did you feel like you were at having missed the first two weeks of training camp? Well, before I missed that two weeks training camp, I missed the whole summer playing, you know, the summer league, the rookie, uh, rookie class, everything. Um, well, and, and not only that, you're coming over with the weight of an entire nation, too. <laughs> um, now everything you have to look in on, on both sides. Uh, uh, be honestly, I'm a little bit, not just a little bit, I'm, I'm scared about I'm coming to the United States. Now, before I come, I hear a lot of about NBA, NBA players, the most physical league in the world, and people like to challenge you, it doesn't matter how tall you are. They like, uh, they, they like to hit you uh, with a very, very physical elbow <laughs> and push you uh, out of a pain. And almost like um, a wrestling on court. No, a lot of it. Before you play, you only can hear from the from news, from TV, from... And that's how it sounded to you? That's how it sounded for me, you know. And we know uh, that uh, uh, Ch Chinese players didn't play very physical. No, at the most physical level at here is not that physical in the United States. So first thing is like, am I getting hurt in a very short time? Um, that would scare me a little bit. So your NBA debut, you were scoreless, and of course, you know, everybody in the U.S. wants immediate satisfaction, so when you're scoreless, you're universally hailed as a bust after the first game, you know? Uh, how concerning was it for you going scoreless in that first game? A little bit embarrassing. Embarrassing? Embarrassing, a little bit embarrassing. Not just a little bit, but embarrassing. But I gave myself a little bit cushion there, you know? I should keep top of myself, and also my parents is helping on that was saying, oh, we just knew here, um, and uh, and we, uh, we we need some time to make adjust. No, well, you know, make some excuse for yourself at the very first game. Sure. Uh, but at the bottom line, I tell myself that um, you know, everybody have a start. Uh, I know LeBron start with twenty points game. Uh, I know a lot of guys start will have a great start, but uh, most important is where you're ending it. And you can't change your start. It's already happened. In, as your performance is increasing, the uh, Houston fans uh, are begin chanting a song that I understand is your favorite, Yao Ming, Yao Ming, Yao Ming, Yao Ming. How much did uh, you like it? I know the, those fans is happy about what I did you know, after that, uh, after that, after first couple of games. Um, they are there to join show that supporting to me to the Rockets, uh, and um, but honestly, drove you crazy. It right? literally drove me crazy. First of all, I I I don't like the song at all. <laughs> you know, they repeated just to repeat your name, time time uh, time after time again. And um, otherwise, is I, I try to keep myself. Um, I try to keep myself low key. And you, you you can have a good game today, but you never know what happened tomorrow. 